Hi everyone, welcome back to another database session. I covered uh, many aspects of the Databricks service in my previous videos, and I believe that understanding the requirements of the organization, which includes topics like uh, how the data is moving from uh, its source to the destination, what kind of security applied, how much data we need to uh, retain in the system um, whether the user need the historical data or not how much volume the data is coming from the source system and what kind of uh, data ingestion methods we are using how the final uh, users consuming the data from the final layer etc right those are very crucial in deciding the right architecture for each organization yeah i know that for each organization there may be different teams and each team may have to use different methods but i'm going to cover many of these uh, details in some of my next videos um, but for this session i'll cover a very simple architecture commonly used across a variety of organizations <clears throat> so as you are Organization receives data from many sources, such as social media platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, etc. And you may ask why we need to pull the data from this kind of social media. But yes, uh, now we know that 80% of the world population uses social media and most of the time they use it the companies provide the ads and they want to understand how their ad is performing whether it is reaching the targeted uh, people whether it is converting as a sales etc so much more analytics can be done using social media so that is very important uh, analytics criteria nowadays We also have enterprise applications like customer relationship management, enterprise resource planning, and many other applications. Additionally, for live data analysis, data from IoT devices also used here. So there are different methods of data ingestion. The data coming from IoT devices ingested as a streaming data because we need the live data uh, for from that devices to take uh, decisions and the other method is batch batch data load but both this method can be stored in one place and give the one stop shop for the consumers whether it is a data science or data builders advanced report builders or any uh, users they can use the same platform now, if you look at this symbol architecture, Azure Data Factory is used as an orchestration tool to coordinate between different services. It will keep the entire data coming from the source as it is in the row layer. So if you look at the Azure storage and tool, we can divide the layers into multiple row layer, processed and analytics layer. So row layer keeps the entire data coming from the source system as it is. This is required for um, to go back and check what kind of data came in each day. And in case if you want to reload the data, backdated data, um, this will be really helpful. But how much data we are retaining in the row layer, that depends upon the company policy again. Uh, either we can purge the data or we can move to call tier while moving from row layer to process <coughs> processed layer we typically apply all kind of uh, cleaning massaging the data and a small transformation may apply and keep it in processed layer so processed layer you can decide whether you can go with the sql warehouse environment or normal table storage so 
to analyze the enterprise application data i would recommend to have the normal sql warehouse sorry the warehouse environment where we divide the data segregate the data as a facts and dimension some people definitely gonna ask why do we need facts and dimensions and that is an old methodology but i i i would recommend go for it there are multiple benefit for this if you are keeping this you are not going to ingest the data redundantly right you can save a lot of storage cost then again question arise like now nowadays the storage is very cheap then why do you worry about it yeah that is true but still for a good housekeeping this is the best method i would suggest to have proper um, enterprise warehouse the process layer normally store the least level data uh, so that's required by the data science team they don't need any aggregated record they need much more historical records um, and the least level data so the processed layer is the final consumption layer for the data scientist or ml ops team for the data um, builders i mean report builders they don't need the least granular data they normally go with aggregated records so analytical layer is the one where we can apply much more business transformation to help reduce the complexity on the dashboarding side so all the heavy lifting can be done by azure data databricks side then store that in the analytics layer from there either you can go for azure sql db to connect to power bi the major reason for going with azure sql db is it will be seamless connectivity between power bi and azure sql db and also the cost of processing the data or delivering the data to the power bi dashboard but the limitation is you can go with the maximum four terabyte but i would suggest keep the data maximum three terabyte if you are thinking that the data is going to go beyond three terabyte then don't go with azure sql db and the good thing is we have a data bricks both for data science machine learning workspace as well as um, warehouse we have different uh, warehouses available in databricks classic warehouse and the serverless warehouse i'll talk about more about serverless and other uh, warehouse in coming video right and uh, the power bi can connect with sql warehouse then pull the data deliver to the end user with the different nice visualizations uh, similar way data science machine learning uh, workspace uh, data science community can use and build the ml models so this is the overall architecture for the very simple uh, reference architecture databricks ar architecture that you can follow all right uh, thanks for watching this video this is all i want to talk about it this session if you have any question please feel free to comment below and i can reply back and stay tuned for next video till then thank you and enjoy your day if you would like to receive more such videos please like and subscribe to my channel also if you would like to connect with me i have provided my details here my email and linkedin so thank you very much